Okay, so these are my frogs that I have. I built this little cave out of rocks and sticks from outside and then used hot glue. Uh, I tried to remove as many of the strings as I can, though I'm not too worried about them eating them because if it doesn't move, then they're not going to be interested in it. Um, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> not 100%, this is why I'm posting this, I need your guys' help. If hot glue is safe, of course it's not hot anymore. It's been dried for like six days. Um, so uh, they did. So this is an American toad named Hamburger, and then this is a leopard frog named Cheeseburger. I have them in this. Or this hamburger, <laughs> and that's hot dog, not cheeseburger. Whoops. I do have some moss on there, and then the sticks for the roof. Uh, Hot dog did break a thing in the back. Now, this tank is not big enough for them. This is actually a five gallon hermit crab tank. I think actually a little bit smaller. It's one of the biggest hermit crab tanks you could get though. Um, I don't mainly have enough room for them just yet. No. Uh, I do want to get a little divider so I can make them a water section, mainly for the frog. Not so much for the toad, because the toad, they do like to bathe and stuff, but they can do without it. And I do give my toad calcium. I don't give him calcium. I don't know if I should, so that's another thing I could use your guys' help on. Uh, I do have some more moss scattered around there and stuff. The enclosure's kind of boring. That's why I made that. Uh, I do, you know, have a patch of moss there. And that's really it. So, though it is kind of good that I made the enclosure boring because with any more stuff, they wouldn't have a lot of room to hop around and stuff. And... You know, that's why they ended up breaking a hole in the back. So I think adding any more things in it would kind of ruin it. I would love to add live plants, but toads and frogs are burrowers and stuff like that. And you realize I don't have a lot of dirt. Like, I probably have less than an inch of dirt in here. But that's why I made the cave as well, because I didn't have enough eco-earth to um, make it thick enough. So I did the cave instead, so they at least have somewhere to hide. Uh, I mainly feed these guys crickets and baby dubia roaches every once in a while, and mainly uh, earthworms for the frog, and this guy I'll give him mealworms. I don't give him too many mealworms or crickets because they do can cause an um, impaction if you give too many of them due to their hard shell, but you can always feed them uh, the crickets and mealworms probably about like two or three Three mealworms every week and three crickets every week, and then the rest would do earthworms. Now, toads uh, use their tongues when they eat, unlike frogs that bite, or at least these frogs, the leopard frog. It's either a leopard frog or a bullfrog. And so that's why it's really hard to feed the toad the earthworms because the earthworms are slimy, so the tongue can't stick to them and pull them in. That's why mealworms are easier to do, but I don't want to cause impaction. I don't have any problems with impaction. Uh, she seems to be doing fine pooping-wise. Doesn't seem constipated at all or anything like that. Um, anything weird or gross. Uh, she seems to be doing fine, though. Uh, I don't give them vitamin D3 because I don't think you need that for them, nor do I think you even should give it to them. I don't know. Uh, but I don't give the frog calcium so if you guys know if the hot glue is safe it is dry uh the hot glue is safe or sh if i should give the frog calcium and what should i do for the toad so like what insects i should feed rather than crickets and mealworms because the worms aren't working because he can't eat them uh he can but it takes a long time and then eventually it takes so long that they just lose complete interest so as a setup, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.